Hello folks, welcome back. In this video we're going to continue with our new internal messages uh, module, or as we're calling it, the inquiries module. Now let me just say, I think that last video was really good. Uh, to put something like that together in 17 minutes is very good going, so if you manage to follow along with that and keep up, then congratulations. I think that that's very, very cool, and by now, I think it's safe to say that you are becoming a pretty fast developer here. And uh, isn't it cool how things are becoming faster? Have you noticed that lately? Things are coming, becoming kind of quicker and easier. Uh, I think it's very cool. So let's continue with that. Let's rock and roll. I'm going to start with the, I think I'll start with the view inquiries thing here, okay? So let's just do that, and we're not going to do anything fancy. Maybe there is a case for using Ajax or Angular or something and doing something fancy, but we really don't need to do that, you know? I'm just going to say view URL equals base, oh and by the way, this is view inquiries, okay? So the base URL is going to be inquiries forward slash view forward slash row ID. We now have a view URL, okay? And I'm going to do a little icon thing that they can click on and view the uh, inquiry. So this is going to bear a striking resemblance to the thing that we had on store accounts forward slash manage. And the vibe was that we had a little icon. I'm going to copy that and take it on over and paste in. And the URL is going to be view. URL. So if we save that and refresh, now we have a little icon here. In fact, shall we do one of those span one things just to try and tidy the table up a bit? Something like that. Okay, that's kind of cool. So the vibe is they can now click in and view the message. Let's put that together. It should not take long, okay? So we go to inquiries, we go uh, function view, and uh, I'm going to say update ID equals this, URI segment 3. I actually prefer doing that to chucking it in here because, well, we went over that before. You know the vibe, okay? Um, I'm going to make sure that the user is an administrator before I even do any of that stuff. And... That's pretty cool. There's no need to check as update ID if update ID is numeric because we've already checked to make sure it's admin. So let's not get too paranoid here, you know. And the vibe is I'm going to say data query equals this get where, and we're going to get where the inquiry ID is that update ID. So now it's just a case of doing something like that, and we're going to change the view file to view. I'm going to save, I'm going to refresh, and everything is super cool. Now we've made one or two view.php things before, okay? Um, let me just see if we've got anything that we can use here, your account, probably not actually. Um, hmm, maybe not. Okay, let's just have a look at the admin panel and we'll see if there's anything that we could possibly use that might come in handy. So we'll go with store item, oh gee, store items manage, something like that. And if we clicked on that, does that look okay? Does that look okay? Probably, I don't know. So we'll go with store items Create, right, okay, that's actually not too bad, yes, not too bad. So, we're going to make up a file called view.php inside the inquiries module. Here it is. We're going to chuck a headline in. And then we're going to chuck in this vibe here, okay, that vibe here. And I'm going to do something like that. And I'll just say content to follow. We'll worry about that in a minute, you know. Uh, so that's good. That needs a closing tag. 
okay and we've got another closing tag here and that's all right so if we save that now let me just go back okay it does not know what the headline is so I'm just going to make the headline up here and let's just see something like um, data headline equals how about inquiry and then the update ID okay so inquiry maybe I'll chuck ID in I'm not sure if that's the best headline by the way but I'm just trying to uh, go through this you know so where it says item details we'll change that to inquiry details and then we're just gonna loop through the query whoops sorry for each query loading up result as row um, and then we just chuck everything on here now if you look at uh, let me just have a think here if we look at view inquiries we've got kind of a nice table going on here you know it's not too bad what if we pasted this in and we'll do a whole different vibe here we'll just do let me just see is this gonna work let's do hmm let's do two columns okay and we'll have oh, let me just have a think here alright we'll take out this <laughs> everybody's looking saying hurry up right we'll take that vibe out and we're gonna have two columns here okay so ignore this this does not exist and the vibe is gonna be um, something like let's just do table row and then in here we'll just say something like date sent you can see where this is all going right so date sent and that's going to be like that and we'll just chuck the information on the page something like that so date sent sent by subject message okay so date sent sent by subject and message okay that's not too bad -ish. not too bad is there anything else we need I don't think there is actually I think that's about it uh, let me just check so we've got date sent sent to subject message yep that's all cool actually I'm pretty happy with that so I'm now gonna close off this vibe and the idea is that we can now chuck these variables in the codes a bit messy just now but it's all gonna work fabulously as ye shall see so we've got sent by in here and then we've got subject in here um, I'll just say actually subject like this and in here I'm gonna do one of those new line to BR message things okay that's not too bad that's not too bad so we don't need this stuff anymore and I appear to have deleted a thing table body that it seems that we need so give me a mo moment here store accounts manage table head I this T body thing I mean what do I know about that stuff you know um, <laughs> so we'll chuck that back in right here we go so that's all kind of cool I'm gonna do a little bit of formatting if you can handle the vibe I'm gonna say um, style equals font weight bold for that first table cell and in here I'm gonna say vertical align is top I think that's the vibe I think that's the vibe and then in here I'll do the same again excellent excellent we don't need this for each anymore and all we need to do is clarify the subject and the message 
and that page should be good. Let's check it out. Okay, that looks pretty rubbish, but relax. Relax. We have to add new uh, table rows, you know. That was the original idea. So here we go. Like so. Okay. And down here. That's good. Okay, that's good. Excellent. That's, oh gee, no, it's not excellent. It's pretty far from excellent. Let's take uh, this one off. Take that off the menu. Here we go. Not too bad. Not too bad, actually. That's pretty cool. So that's good. So they click in and they view the thing and that's it. Now, when they view this, when they view this, we're going to do a little update and the vibe is I'll do a thing that's function underscore set to opened and we pass in an update ID. So all this is going to do is it's going to say data opened equals one and then it's going to say this update like so. There you go. So when someone views this thing, right, when they head on in, the vibe is, as soon as we have that update ID, we're going to set to opened. So check this out. They go in and view it. Jeez. 926. I'm always doing that. Function. There we go. Okay, here we go again. So check it out. Uh, they head in. Look at those envelopes, by the way, right? They head in. And then they go back. And look, it has been opened. See, 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 how cool is that? Okay, so I think that's a good spot to end this video. In the next video, we'll work on creating, actually, I might as well write that in right now, shall we? Um, so on view inquiries, we'll just write compose message. Okay, and that's gonna go to, um, inquiries forward slash create, okay, inquiries forward slash create, and we'll call it, we'll call it create message URL, there we go, so the vibe is, that's what they get on the inbox, they'll have a thing for composing a new message, they can go back, and everything is actually very cool indeed, okay, I'll see you in the next video, we're making good progress, this is awesome, I'll see you soon. Bye.